Hello and welcome to all top fives. Although this is a top five, there's nothing good about mental or brain disorders. They're an unfortunate occurrence in the human brain that occasionally causes bizarre and unbelievable symptoms. And although these can be interesting to study, it's still sad and incredibly debilitating for so many of those who suffer them, and they deserve our respect. So, with that said, let's take a look at some of the fascinating things that have been documented when something in the brain has gone wrong. Number 5. Alice in Wonderland Syndrome Also known as Todd's Syndrome, this neurological condition massively affects a person's perception. Although uncommon, it can occur as a result of brain damage, migraines, psychoactive drug use, and is actually one sign of the Epstein-Barr virus. As its name suggests, Alice in Wonderland syndrome causes perceptive changes, such as objects appearing much smaller or much larger than they are in reality. This doesn't just apply to inanimate objects though, as a person with Alice in Wonderland syndrome may see their own body image altered, with their hand being tiny and possibly distant, or their legs enormous and unwieldy. The weirdness doesn't stop there though. The very ground itself might be affected by this syndrome, making a sufferer feel as if the ground is just under their nose, rather than beneath their feet. I can imagine it would be so disorienting and probably quite scary as well. You'd lose all sense of spatial awareness. In some cases, Alice in Wonderland syndrome patients may lose their sense of time as well as space, often making it seem that time is passing unbelievably slowly. Coupled with their distorted perception of the space around them, a person with the syndrome could be slowly inching their way towards a door quite close to them in reality, but in their minds, the perceived change in velocity causes them to feel that they're sprinting impossibly fast towards a door a mile away. This sort of hallucination would be scary, but not as scary as the next condition on my list. Number 4. Capgrass Delusion as the name suggests, this condition is a delusion, a strong belief that is completely wrong. And in this case, the Capgras delusion is a disorder where the patient believes that someone close to them, perhaps a family member, close friend, or even a pet, is actually someone else wearing a disguise. So this means that a man married for decades to the love of his life would see his wife one day and believe to his core that the woman before him is an imposter who looks identical to his wife. It's a type of delusional misidentification syndrome and can last for very short times or it can be a chronic problem recurring over long periods. As you can imagine, Capgras delusion must be frightening. To believe, or in fact know, that someone you love has been replaced with someone completely different who looks the same. And for the person accused of being an imposter, it must be very hard to hear that. One notable case was Mrs. D a 74-year-old who believed her husband of many years had been replaced by someone else. She refused to sleep in the same room as him, locked herself in her own room, and even tried obtaining a gun as protection. Sometimes she thought her husband had been replaced by her long-dead father. Mrs. D could identify other family and friends without issue. It was just her husband that the Capgras delusion affected. The causes of this condition are many and highly complex, but it is treatable. Still, imagine yourself looking at your best friend and just knowing, in spite of their protests, that he or she is gone, replaced by someone identical looking, but completely different. Ugh. Number 3. Alien Hand Syndrome This one is exactly as it sounds, and has very physical symptoms. Alien Hand Syndrome is a very rare disorder of the brain where a person's hand seems to act completely of its own accord, without its owner being aware of what it's doing. It can get severe enough that this alien hand reaches for objects, picks them up, uses them, and so on, even if the person doesn't actually want to do so. In the most extreme of cases, the patient will even have to use their other hand which they can control to stop it. It kind of reminds me of Evil Dead 2 with the possessed hand. Alien hand syndrome can come about most often when a person has the two hemispheres of their brain separated in surgery in a rare procedure for severe epilepsy, though it can come about as a result of stroke, a tumour, Alzheimer's and other potential factors. It was first documented in 1908 by Kurt Goldstein, a neuropsychiatrist from Germany. 
His patient had had a stroke and after recovering, complained that her left arm seemed to have a mind of its own. She described it as feeling like someone else was moving the hand and it wasn't under her control. Despite being able to feel everything in her left hand and arm, including pain, she was only able to control it very poorly with extreme concentration, grasping at an object or pushing something. Another bizarre case saw a patient buttoning up her blouse with one hand, while her uncontrollable hand was just as happily unbuttoning her blouse at the same time. Really strange. Number 2. Reduplicative Paramnesia First named in 1903 by a psychiatrist, Arnold Pick, reduplicative paramnesia is a delusion that a particular place has been duplicated, that there are two exact copies of a location existing at the same time in different places. It's a rare condition, first actually documented, although not understood or named, in 1788. As with alien hand syndrome, this disorder comes about as a result of brain trauma or things like a stroke or tumour. The first fully described study of reduplicative paramnesia was in 1976 where a man had fallen over and hit his head, breaking his skull and damaging his brain. He was admitted to a special hospital and recovered well. He had a good sense of time, remembered a lot of his accident, remembered faces and names, and could form new memories and retain that information. But his aptitude for location in some cases left him. He was staying at Jamaica Plain Veterans Hospital in Boston while he recovered, but although he remembered the name of the place, he insisted that the hospital was actually in Taunton, Massachusetts, where he lived. He was questioned about this and acknowledged that he knew that Jamaica Plain was part of Boston and that there couldn't be two Jamaica Plain Veterans Hospitals. Despite this, though, he would only insist that he was in that hospital in Taunton, going so far as to state that the whole hospital was actually situated in his home's spare bedroom. Although he knew this couldn't be, he couldn't help but know it as a fact. It's bizarre and really makes you wonder about what you believe is real, when someone can know something through and through that is completely false, like this. Number 1. Cotard Syndrome. Also known as the Cotard Delusion, this is an extremely rare disorder of the brain where, simply, the patient believes that they are dead. Cotard Syndrome is another condition in which the sufferer doesn't just believe, but fully knows something that isn't true. It develops over time, getting progressively more severe. The afflicted person will completely deny that they exist in many cases. But there are other cases where they will deny the existence of a body part, such as the leg or indeed a whole section of their body, perhaps their torso. Weird. When a person believes that they're dead or don't exist, it can be either a figurative or literal dead. Some people with Cotard syndrome believe that their existence has winked out, and although they may acknowledge that their body or their mind is there, they don't believe it's real and that they're absent from life. Others believe that they are literally dead, a corpse, hence the other name, Walking Corpse Syndrome. A Scottish man in 1989 injured his brain and developed Cotard Syndrome. He felt more and more that nothing was real and that he was dead. After he left hospital, his mother took him to South Africa. Because it was hot and visually different, he believed that not only was he dead, but he was in hell and thought that he had died of septicemia, which he'd read about while recovering from his accident. He explained his ability to see, speak and move by the belief that he borrowed his mother's spirit to float around hell and that his mother was asleep back in Scotland at the time. Oh, it's a terrifying delusion and may prompt some philosophical debate. But imagine that you knew you were a dead body and that you therefore didn't need to wash, eat, move or do anything. Scary. And that's it from all top fives for this week. As I said at the beginning, although these cases are simply fascinating, they're also massively debilitating and very sad. There are many people in the world who have such disorders and others, so perhaps spare a thought now for them. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like, because it lets me know what you guys like watching and it helps other people find these videos too. I release a new video every single Tuesday on loads of different topics, including the creepy or scary, so do subscribe if you want a new video each Tuesday. 
Remember when you're posting your comments below to be polite and considerate. Everything's so much better when we all just get along. And that's everything for this week, so peace and love to each and every one of you, and I'll see you all next time on All Top Fives. Thank you.